Hey guys, um, I just wanted to talk real briefly about how I took the pictures of the solar eclipse on May 20th. Um, so what I used was this, which doesn't look like much until I explain exactly what it is. Uh, so basically, these are polarizing lenses that I got from uh, a pair of those plastic glasses that you get to see 3D movies these days. And and if you're not aware about how those movies work, is uh, it's all about polarized light, which uh, I'll try to demonstrate here. Let me grab that. Okay, there we go. So if you notice, as I move this left and right, the light you know darkens and stuff. And so basically, the the way that these movies, uh, the 3D movies, work is that there's uh, typically two projectors. Uh, both showing the same movie, and one of them, is, uh, one of the screens, sorry, one of the projectors has the light that it's projecting polarized, like say, up and down, which might be this one. Uh, the other one has the light polarized left and right, which might be this one. So when you wear these over your eyes, um, <clears throat> the light from alternating from each projector is blocked out for each eye, and that's what gives uh, the illusion of three dimensions uh, to the human brain. So anyway, so I had a pair of these uh, sitting around my room, and um, uh, the reason uh, so I had a pair of these sitting around my room, and this was a uh, pretty last minute. Um, I literally had like less than an hour to put this together, so I shoot with a Nikon D seven hundred, and uh, in particular, I shot this with my. Uh, 24 to 70 millimeter lens. So one of the things about, you know, look, same as like your parents tell you not to look at the sun because it'll hurt your eyes. You don't want to point your camera directly at the sun without some kind of filtering because it can burn out your frame. I'm um, sorry, it can burn out your sensor, uh, full frame sensor. Um, so anyway, so the way that I put this together was I, I was like, okay, I gotta have something around the house that might be able to do this. So. I remember to have those lenses. I popped the I popped the lenses out of the glasses, um, and what I did was I have this UV filter that I usually keep on the end of the uh, lens, like that. It screws on, screws off. Um, so I just did an outline of that, right? And then anyway, so I did a, took a little piece of cardboard, cut that out in the right shape. Now the got the one piece of tape on here so that I can easily uh, add and rotate the lenses inside. And at that point, you know, stuck those in there, got the uh, rotation that I wanted, put that on the camera, on the lens rather, and then just screwed this in. And, you know, looks pretty ghetto, but it worked. And I was able to adjust this a little bit uh, once I was on site and had a couple of test pictures. But anyway, so um, now if I was, now this is, like I said, I put this together in less than an hour. And um, the other, uh, so it was quick. Uh, uh, if I was going to shoot the sun again, I would probably rent a lens. Um, 900 millimeter would probably be a really good one. That way you get really nice and close to it. You get a lot of detail from the sun and stuff like that. And um, now they also sell professional filters exactly for this kind of project. Um, people have been doing this stuff for years. Uh, you, you could use like neutral density filters. Um, and you can. there is also another kind of filter that I forget the name of at the moment, but it's basically a solar filter. Um, so anyway, um, but I put this together and uh, yeah, that was it. And I had a lot of fun doing it. And so, oh, and so, oh, I wanted to talk also about uh, aperture and f-stop and shutter speed. So I shot those images at about out, uh, 8,000 uh, for the shutter speed. Uh, my aperture was all the way up to 22. So it was very, very small aperture, and uh, my ISO, the, the other important thing was ISO was all the way down to its lowest setting, uh, which on um, most cameras is around like uh, uh, 100. Um, on this, it's, uh, the setting's different, but it's basically 100. Um, but yeah, that's it, and I mean, 
you know, with just a little bit of stuff around the house, uh, you know, I was able to go out to the park, hang out with my friends, drink some beer, and uh, capture some pretty cool images of the sun. And, uh, yeah, so that was pretty neat. I had a good time doing it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this, and uh, remember, next time you go to the theater, if you happen to see some, uh, happen to have a pair of those lenses left over, make sure you grab them. You never know what you can do with them. That's pretty cool stuff. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.